Now, I mean, I, I've spoken to Lee about your work, um, and he sort of feels that you're now at a stage, a life stage, yeah. where you've got a huge amount of experience and it's reflected in the work you do. Oh, do you think that was? That's cool. Really. That's kind of Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 52. I mean, I can't paint representation, I can paint realistically. You know, we, we could, if we had to get down to yeah. I could paint a picture of it. Yeah. You might, you know, it might be a great painting, but it would look like it. Yeah. And that, that doesn't hold a great deal of, of value to me, really. You know, I'd rather take a picture of it or make a film of it, as we're doing now. Yeah. Actually living and doing yeah. it, that's the best sculpture you get money you get, you know, the I'm person. Sure the, per <laughs> the person himself, yeah. you know, and their, and their mind working and, and their voice. And, uh, yeah. But, um, and it's not scripted, it's real, you know, and in 500 years' time, this will still be real. It's yeah. kind of strange. Yeah, no, that, that is, yeah. That's kind of cool, yeah. isn't it? But, but uh, I'm kind of, very, you know, very into the abstract. It sort of provoke some thoughts here. So has your work changed, say, from the time you first joined the band? Yeah. Oh, to the yeah. artwork? Oh, yeah. I was kind of, kind of, you know, it was all representation. It was all... I was so busy, I didn't have a great deal of time. I'd always draw. I taught the kids to draw, you, you know, when they were little. So I taught them, funny what you say, right, yeah. about perspective and about how to look at something yeah. and, and not to fill the middle of the page straight away, but to mm -hmm. use the whole piece of yeah. paper. And, and not, you don't have to do everything that you see, you know, you can pull in, but use the paper, mate. It's about what you put down, use the angle, you're going to see that. And so it's the, old, it's the old trick in it, once you know the rules are broken. Exactly, yeah. I mean, if I wanted to draw me and you, I probably wouldn't draw you sitting, looking at you. No. I'd want to sit on the floor and draw up through this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like in film, you know, use the camera, you know, like use cinema if you're going to make a film. Like, you, yeah. it wasn't one shot, you put yeah. shots together, you made them. You could, you could shoot the same thing in a number of different ways. Cool, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, the work's changing, and uh, I don't think it's very important. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'm trying to paint that painting. I'm trying to make the painting, and, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to be like anybody else, but of course I, I throw paint around a little bit. So people go, ah, oh, Jackson Pond, <laughs> every time. And thank, thank you. Yeah, well, it's not a bad comparison. I don't pray, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. although it's an easy comparison yeah, to throw it paint. Is, yeah. no, but Jackson did it incredibly well. But mine's work doesn't look anything like this. No. But I throw paint like he did. He was looking for rhythm. And my paintings are generally about music. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's about music, but, but just asking a different. It's asking a different question. I like the way colour can work as well. No? I'm not necessarily using oil paint, using enamel paint, which I've been for about three years. And it all has to dry, one colour has to dry before you can put the next one on. So it's, it's, it's lots of layers. It's very tactile, yeah. I like it, you can touch it, it's kind of like, feels a bit like glass. And right. A good painted surface. So how long would a kind of typical painting take you to? Well, okay, I, I, painted, I painted a bunch of paintings about Miles Davis' sketches of Spain and Gilbert. Yeah, I saw it, yeah. Okay. The small, big ones, giant ones, and over over a period of two years. So what I do is just play that music while I was painting. I was going to ask you this: so when you when you paint, I was playing the music, yeah, yeah. and uh, <laughs> loads of that. I mean, it doesn't mean the paintings are any good. It doesn't mean they're going to work. But for me, it's, it's it was uh, yeah, it was kind of inspirational. And you know, thinking about Spain and all them yellows and reds and jet blacks and that's it. Really. Mm. No, no. I was saying to me, and that great tradition of abstract art within Spanish art. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Dali. I mean, you know, he was a Dadaist. But you know, they were great experimentalists. And El Greco, he was a Spaniard, but he grew up, you know, with a Greek name. You know, all these guys are great throwers of paints, and great, and not worrying what somebody else is going to think of the art, but worrying what they think about it. You know, that's really important. What do I think of this? I paint I paint it over a hundred canvases. Really? After a year's work, yeah. yeah. It's just go too far, it's gone and fuck. So I mean this is a really hard thing to do it's a bit like saying to football, when you score a goal, you know, is there when you're when you're doing those paints when you what you call throwing the paint around, mm -hmm. is it like you're kind of zoned out a little bit aware yeah. of necessary because well, if you're doing a figure of painting, you need to be not really completely focused. aware of where, yeah, really focused. Something yeah. like that. Is it you're almost like you're in a kind of, yeah, you're kind of get in the zone and be free. Like music, yeah, 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 music. Yeah, really like music. It, that's the closest relationship I've ever been to. Really like music and in, in, in connected with what you're doing, and not necessarily with how 
what the result's going to be. And it was music, he made said and did with us. If you're playing in a, in a band or something, you can play a line differently, it makes something else play differently. And it opens a thing up, you know, and you can start, you, you have to see, you see old musicians and so start smiling because something's changing, you know, and it's opening up and some guy will just drop a, some extra intervals in the chord, same chord, they'll make it a minor or we'll drop a, a diminished seventh in there, you know, and it just opens up the landscape and, uh, and you can throw up some paint and suddenly a picture starts becoming something. And it's, it's not representational, although, no. although you know, it's, a, it's kind of painting emotion, you know. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yes, like, yeah, painting yeah. emotion, like, and writing. Mm. Yeah, well, say, once you write, you don't even know you're doing you it. You must have that, yeah, yeah, you've got it. And then suddenly you go, where did that come from? Yeah, and you, you tag yourself in. It's the, the, the left right brain, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. Your brain works in different if, you let, if you let the left um, the discipline take over the right mm. expression, mm. Oh, you know, I am. Um, so, what, at what point do you say, you know, you, you, you're into that zone? At what point do you say, right, that's it? I mean, it's like. It I often like, said that's it, and then fucks them up through, you know, to right. go for, ah, fucked it, gone. You know, I'm really yeah. somebody that was working good and, uh, and took it away. It's, it's very self indulgent. It's, it's totally about pleasing myself. It's a, I do take myself off into a, you know, I've got a double garage in the house and can't fit cars in. So my daughter Lisa was using it as a studio. She said, you know, basically I'm fucked up. There's paint everywhere. <laughs> I swear to God. I can't go back now. She won't go, I kid up, it's all over her work. How's it really? Yeah, I kid up. We did say it was uh, paint <laughs> But you know, you know, I think every, what I do every now and then is I'll paint something that's really quite difficult to paint just to keep my hand in and it, in a draftsman like. Mm. Mentality, you know, because you can lose that, like music, like yeah, shooting yeah. film, like cutting film. Mm. You've got to do it, use it or lose it, I think. So I'll paint like um, a suit. Yeah. I don't know if you. Well, apparently, this is a bit of a thing that you you were doing when you go on tour. It's a good see. discipline, yeah, not paint a suit, yeah. Or I might sketch it while I'm at You know, like, I don't get a lot of time, but I often get to see your rooms because we're in a band. You know, that. I think, oh, I don't put them at the back of me too much noise, put them at the front there. <laughs> and, you know, I'll moan if I don't get good to see you, which is kind of the truth. And so, you know, I'll, I'll get up early, five in the morning, and, and just make sketches, and every city's different. Mm. Every city's different. And I see, I've, I've only ever seen paintings of the sea, which aren't really about the sea, they're about this tiny boat that's on it. Mm. But this, you know, the worst of all, the t most tweets of all, you know, the, the harbour scene with the yachts and the, the cottage. And it's nothing to do with the water. The water is a is a big part player, you know, an understudy yeah. to the cottage yeah, yeah, yeah. or the hill or the sky. The sky is kind of, you know, it's a beautiful thing to paint, but paint a picture of the sky. Paint it not, not as a backdrop or anything. Mm. And that's kind of what I do. So I'll paint the sea, the, the energy of the sea, the movements, and if I can if I can get that, I've got my, my head back in gear. Right. I can put put the stuff aside and go back and uh, throw paint in it. Right. <laughs> I'm making it sound like I'm terribly clever, I'm not no, at no, all. No, 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 no. I've got, I've got pictures on here, I'll just go, you know. But Lee, Lee, Lee's point was that it may look uh, accidental or just, you know, throughout the internet. Yeah, like, yeah. But he feels, he feels, he feels he, he's taken it, there's a lot of technique involved in it as well. You don't just do it. No, there no. Is, there is, you know, a well, colour, a technique. Colour and negative space on the canvas. and it's and that, negative space. Well, so you know, you've got a white canvas. Mm -hmm. You could paint every single inch out of it, yeah. but it's a negative. You know, you leave, you leave some of the canvas showing or some of that background base colour, whatever your colour you decide it to be, against the, the abstraction you're making, it can give a balance and, um, and give, give weight and give importance to the paint on there. When you cover something, which I do as well, because of this very argument, and I try and, I'm, and I'm trying to paint paint. I paint something that's moving, like the sea, for instance. I have to paint it on four or five canvases. And this goes back to films, so I have like frames in a film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it gives it some, I don't know what it is. It gives, and I'll paint them on one piece, one big canvas. And it's, yes, yeah, you've painted the sea. Paint them in separate boxes, and the sea's moving. It's, and I think it's, uh, you know, that we're familiar now, but modern people were familiar with the art of film and the art of painting and, and drawing. And we understand it, you know, we get it. I know, you know, even if we've had no education, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. because it's just been mercy, Because yeah. of a great artist that made film, and I think like the film, separate canvases look like frames, and mm. I'm kind of into that a bit. 
Oh, I'll play big old pictures. You know, 20 cameras or something. Oh, right. So and stick them all, but it was meant to go together. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, you know, I've done a giant painting that's really about Glastonbury Festival. There's no intent sort of person in it. But there's hopefully the energy and the, the movement and the serenity and the peace and the, the bliss, you know, from, from that kind of event. I don't know. Maybe I haven't captured it, but maybe I have for me. But and this is I know what I've been doing. This is an abstract. I would have their own. I mean, I've, I've promised her, I'll paint some oils. And, and I just, um, I don't know, you know I, don't, I can't get into painting musicians. In fact, it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. Uh, nothing against Ronnie Wood, what he does. Uh, but he does, it's, it's a commercial statement he's making. Uh, he'll tell people who love the stones, a picture yeah, of Mick yeah, and yeah, Keith yeah, yeah. and himself. Great, you know, it doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. You know, just nothing at all. Well, also, they're just such iconic images anyway. The, you can't, you know, you can't get any better than the, the real yeah. thing, can you? So, it, no, you can't. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. The, the photographs and films that are made, you know, you get a male brother's yeah. play, get a still from their film, yeah, and that yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just, I don't know, it's just yeah. the intent. Mm -hmm. The intent isn't to sell you a picture of Mick Jagger, it was to sell you the essence of Mick Jagger. Do, do you get the email? I think the great painters did that. Mm -hmm. It wrote down when he was sculpting, you know. Wanted to give you the essence of a guy thinking about something, you know, not a guy thinking about something. It's like this is guys really think, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, yeah, you know, great Dutch painter. He didn't paint somebody just standing in a room. He painted somebody in a room thinking about something. The essence of that person, and you, you know, you follow it through, and it's beautiful. Yeah. I like it. I mean, I, I think all the great painters are like stills from great movies, yeah. great performances, or great documentaries. And you can also go for a round. In some films where they do actually like, and and you know oh. most of the best greatest filmmakers have studied art. Absolutely. Yeah. Go on, let's, let's go. I love this. Well, I mean, well, yeah, yeah, Lynch is a classic. Lynch, I can't yeah. Come yeah. See. Absolutely, absolute blue velvet. I mean, yeah. I mean, it is. It's, yeah, every frame is. Just that gorgeous. looks like they've made a painting in places even. Just the yeah. colour. Yeah. Oh, incredible! The, the French are great in this. French filmmaking is incredible. But you know, you, you, you know, the, the truth is, I'm sorry. That's what. I am the luckiest guy in the world who had this time. I go and paint, I'm painting kind of 30 minute dashes. Oh, or yeah. big, well, the way I'm painting, I've been painting for about four yeah. years here. And because I have to let the paint dry yeah. before I move on. Which seems a bit like a stifling technique. I'm not mixing paint. It's a pure colour, pure, pure prime colour in these pictures. And, do you, want to, do you want to see some stuff? Yeah. You, you, I mean, I've seen some. I mean, Lee's obviously Yeah, some I, mean, I mean, the cheap pictures. Oh, yeah, there's. Um, I want to be able to give you these 